Okay, we've got the Belka uh, DX on the desk and uh, I just thought I'd show you quickly how easy it is to operate this little receiver. When you get the radio, it doesn't come with an awful lot of documentation, but I dare say if you look on the um, on the internet you could uh, you could find uh, a fair bit about it. But it's very very easy to operate, very intuitive. I'll just show you uh, quickly how to do the basics on the receiver. We power it on by pressing and holding for a couple of seconds the power button. And you'll see we've got the display. We're on 40 meters. I don't normally operate this receiver on anything other than it's telescopic, but just for the sake of this demonstration, I've got it hooked up to um, my Bonnie Whip active antenna. Because um, the receiver is lying flat on the desk here. So we can just... Using the encoder knob over here, you can see we've got the knob on the uh, side of the radio. That's what we use to um, to tune. I think we're going in uh, what 50 hertz steps. If we press the encoder and hold it, We're going in 10 kilohertz steps so we can get down the band quite quickly. So we can alter the tuning steps just by pressing the encoder, holding it in, and there we go. Uh, we've, um, we've altered the tuning that way. Um, volume, again, is very simple. You can see on the uh, top controller we've got volume. Let's just press the volume button. And using the encoder knob now we can decrease the volume and increase the volume and when we turn it back down there when we finish with that we just press the encoder knob we're back in VFO mode. Uh, similarly if we want to alter the mode you can see we've got the MOD button there we just press that we've got the modes we've got CW LSB, USB, AM1, AM2 and uh, narrow FM for uh, 10 meters or CBUs. So let's select AM2, press the encoder button and there we go. We're back in VFO mode. Receiver's got uh, a number of memories. If we press, you just see here, press the memory button here. We can scroll through using the encoder knob. These are the frequencies in memory. If we want to pick one of these memories. Okay, we just press the encoder knob. And we're in VFO mode on that memory. And it remembers the, um, the mode selected in the memory as well. So, memories are very easy. And if we want to tune a frequency... As well as be able to select various modes, we can also alter the bandwidth. So if we take a mode, if we now want to switch, we're in LSB here, let's uh, press the mode button. And for the sake of example, let's select AM. We can just press that, and as I said before, we're in AM mode. However, if we press the mode button, we're on AM, press the mode button again, We've now got a choice of bandwidths. We can have 4 kHz, 3.5, 3, 2.7 and so on. So if we select 3.5, press the encoder, and we're now on AM with a 3.5 kHz bandwidth. Let's say we want to put 7585 into a memory. So we press memory, we press memory again, and it's saved into memory one. If we didn't want it in memory one, what we would have done, we would have pressed memory, we would have tuned that to three on the encoder knob, and it's saved to three. So it's quite easy to save memories, it's quite easy to change bandwidths. Um, we've also got um, an RF gain control. So if we press the volume button, and we've got 
as we said before we've got the volume knob we just turn the encoder if we wanted to just exit the volume menu at this point we could we just press the encoder again if we press volume again we've got an RF gain control and you can see just by turning the encoder I can select low sensitivity I can turn the encoder right up to high to maximum sensitivity I press the encoder and I'm back to square one so this is how easy the Belkin is to use it's really nice and simple we've got a brilliant display here we've got um, as you can see just four uh, control buttons plus the encoder knob which has got a, a push switch on it that's how we select most of the functions and really that's all you need to work this great little receiver